Welcome to Mr. Bell Kitchen today. First of all, I'd like to thank all my subscribers, all my viewer watchers that have been watching, haven't subscribed, thinking about should I subscribe to Mr. Bell Kitchen? Yes, you should. Mr. Bell is showing you nice ways to cook in the Power XL step by step. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And you know, if you're thinking how you're going to subscribe or anything, that's all you have to do. Ding! Hit that button, you are subscribed to Mr. Bell Kitchen. Lady, I know everyone been getting Power XLs for the holidays. Mr. Bell have a lot of videos on the Power XL, how to use it, how to take the top off, how to put the other top on it and everything for all you first time watchers and everything. And if you got a little wiggle in it, don't worry about that wiggle. That wiggle is for when you get ready to take it off. Take it off just like this. You don't have to struggle with it. Put it to the side and use the other part. If you want to use the other top, and then when you get ready to put it back on, you just slide it back in. But today I'll be using this Power XL. Today I went to the store. I was going to make a soup, and I wanted to get some, some nice neck bones and everything. And so... I went to the store and I brought these neck bones right here. And boy, this right here is a lot of meat on these neck bones. As you see, I cleaned them up and everything. That's a lot of meat to make some soup and everything. As you see, I have a lot of pieces like this. So I say today, and it's been on the list, and I am saying, mm, what should I make? So today I say, I'm not going to use them neck bones for no soup. Or nothing because every last one of them is pretty much huge as you see and it's a lot of meat on them a lot of meat I said I'm gonna do something different today what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna to make some barbecue neck bones and it's gonna be finger licking good when we get through in Mr. Bell kitchen with these neck bones right here today my greetings is today I'll be using one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of slap your mama one teaspoon of seasoned salt one teaspoon of garlic salt and one teaspoon of black pepper and I'll be using this Sweet Beige Ryan's barbecue sauce and I'm gonna tell you when I get through with this dish today everyone's gonna love it it's gonna come out so good and so tasty and you can have this with some nice good vegetables I think I'm gonna have some broccoli with it and some rice or either some mashed potatoes and and this right here is going to be a good dish right here. So I'm going to get started in a minute. As you know, these neck bones is nice and big. This is the barbecue today. They healthy. As you see, like I said, I was going to make a stew, but I'm not making no stew. I'm going to barbecue these because this is a lot of meat. Look delicious and everything. I think I could barbecue them. So what I'm going to do today is... Um, First of all, I'm just gonna mix up all my greenies together like, just like this when I put my salt in there and put my slap your mama in there, put a little seasoned salt in there, and I'm gonna put my garlic salt in there and my black pepper. And I'm gonna just stir that up just a little bit and just get it nice and good. So when I put this on that meat, it'll be nice and tender. You taste the season beside just the barbecue sauce. You just mix it up like that and you got yourself a nice little mix. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, while that's mixed up, I'm gonna put it on bake. Set my temperature to 375. Just set that for 375. Let me set my timer for how many minutes? Let me see. I think I'm going to go to 59 minutes with it to start it and everything. As you see, I'm putting it on 59 minutes and I'm going to press start. And now it's going to preheat for all you first time viewers. Let it preheat. When it get through preheating, it's gonna say add food. That's the time you're gonna add your food into it. In the meantime, I'ma just season these up nice and good. I'ma get me a nice board 
and put it on so I can season it up. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit some of this meat. As I say, I cleaned this meat already. It's nice and clean. You mostly wanna get in between these bones right here and get all that other unnecessary fat out. As you see, that's a nice piece of meat there. This right here is a nice piece right here. That's why I say it's so healthy to, I say I'm gonna do something else with this. Yeah, all this nice. Good, and this is gonna be delicious. I'm gonna sit all that just like that. Just like that. And I'm gonna just season away on it. Just like that. Sit it over there like that. Trying to get it all in here on this board. Put that right there. Just gonna take my hand and I'm just gonna sprinkle, sprinkle all over it, just like that. Get it nice and good. So when that barbecue sauce hit it and everything. You still better taste this season on it. Just like that. Just season it. Like that. That's enough season on it right now. I'm gonna say something for the back side. And when that get through, it's gonna say add food in a minute. Okay, now it's beeping. So I'm gonna raise that top up and say add food. As you see, it's nice and good and ready. So I'm gonna get this ready right here. I'm gonna start with this big one first. And I'm gonna just lay it in just like that. Lay it in. Just like that. See, all this is in, just like that. And I'm gonna close it, and I'm gonna press start. And I'm gonna let it go for 59 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this one in the next batch. But in the meantime, you know Mr. Bell, he say, for all you first time viewers and haven't been watching and just uh, watching, wash your dishes as you go. Don't leave it for the spouse. Don't leave it for your friend. Don't leave it for your kids. That way, when you wash it as you go, don't nobody have to worry about washing no dishes. Enjoy the food as it cook. Okay, for all you first time watchers, you can, as it cooking, you can lift the top up. I'm gonna look, lift it up. Like I say, I like to take you step by step. So uh, these right here are looking pretty good. Let's look at this right here. See, they're coming out nice and good and everything. And everything, they getting nice and good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take these out and put them on the side so, cause I'm gonna cook all the rest of them together. And I want the second batch to get nice and brown too cause we're gonna just leave it in there just like that and take it out and uh, put it on like that. I'm gonna put the rest of them in just like that. Yeah, just put them in like this. Sit the rest of them in like that. Sit that in there and I'm gonna close it. And it's gonna start, it started right back. So I'm gonna let that get a little brown, then I'm gonna just set everything in there together before I throw my sauce on it, my barbecue sauce. Okay, I'm gonna take a peep at these right in here. As you see, they turning nice and brown and everything. And um, I'm gonna take this one out, cause it's nice and good and brown. I'm gonna sit it right there, and I'm gonna let these just cook a little bit more before I put the sauce on. Close that top, and it's ready to restart. And as you know, as I've just put the season on it and everything, and I mix up all the season together, I didn't use all the season, so I'm going to put this season up for next time. So I've just used not even half of it since I mixed it up together. 
and it depends on how much meat you cook in. That's the kind of season you want to use, or you can use your own kind of season you want to do it. So the whole idea is to depends on the quality of the meat you're cooking. Me myself, we cook a big portion of meat because it's a big family. So if you if it's only one or two people, you can just cook a little portion of it and do it the same way and just keep an eye on it, raise that top up and look at it. Oh, it's getting kind of good and shut that top down. Don't be afraid to raise it up. Don't be afraid to shut it back down. I'm going to raise it up and look at it. It's looking good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just sit all these in there and just let it just finish cooking together. Just like that. Sit them in there like that. Just like that, sit it in there. And this power exhale holds some meat. I'm gonna sit it down. And sit it there. You don't wanna touch the top of it. Sit it just like that. Hey, we're going to raise this up and see what it looked like now and everything that meat looking real good and tender. I'm going to just flip that over. It's time to put this sauce on this, on, on this barbecue neck bone. See, look how healthy that's looking and everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one out right here and that one. And um, I'm going to just start putting that sauce on there and everything. And make it like real good, like, mm -hmm, it's looking good. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna just start spraying some of this sauce on it and everything, spread it all over. That's so you can get that nice good taste. Just squeeze it out just like that and put it on. Yes, squeeze it all over there. Then I'm just gonna take this brush, brush it out a little, just like that, so it get that nice good flavor. Flavor on it just like that. And I'm gonna take this big one right here and I'm gonna sit it back in there like that, over here like, like that. Mm-hmm. And just put this one right in the middle part. Get a little more sauce and just put it all over. Over there, you let it just soak on in there, just like that. Yeah, get this sauce on it nice and good. Spread it, and I'm gonna put this top down, let it cook a little. Oh yeah, let it finish them 15 minutes. Okay, I have 10 minutes left, and I'm gonna look at this. Well, we're gonna look at this together and everything, and see how it look. I'm gonna take this one out right here. That's the big one. Take this out like that. Take all this out. I think this is ready. And this is right here is your pork neck bone barbecue. Just take my time and take this one out too. Shoot it right there. And get all this meat out there. Just sit it just like that. Yes. You see? And this right here is your pork neck bones. Yeah, so these neck bones were so big, I was gonna make soup. So they looked so good. I said, I'm just gonna make some ribs. I mean, I'm just gonna make some pork neck bones barbecue. And this is it right here. I'm, I'm gonna taste a piece of it and see how it looks and how it tastes and everything. It's hot. I don't wanna burn my tongue. So I'm gonna get a little piece off. So much meat on these bones. You see how it looks and everything. Test it out. And that tastes good. 
And this is the pork barbecue neck bones. And that's cooking with the bells. We did it again, if you like it. So all you have to do is hit that button, ding, and you are subscribed to Mr. Bell Kitchen. Uh, when you first time viewers, you thinking about subscribing, don't think about it. That's all you got to do is hit that button. You are subscribed to Mr. Bell Kitchen. Thank you for watching. Thank you.